we can use fundamental theorem of arithmetic to prove it. So first of all, let us take the common thing out. So here, this is one term and this is another term. In both, we can we have 13 as a common factor. So let us take it out. Then we are going to get 7 into 11, that is 77 in this term and plus 1 here. Because 13 is taken out, so we get 1. That means 13 multiplied by 77 plus 1 is 78. Now 13 is already a prime factor, prime number and 78 is not, so let us factorize 78. That means we can write 78 as 2 into 3 into 13. That means we can rewrite this as 13 times 2 times 3 times 13. That means we can make it 13 square. As per the fundamental theorem of arithmetic, every composite number can be expressed as a product of prime. That means here this number is written as a product of prime. That means this is a composite number. As we did in the previous question, we can take the common thing out. This is a term and this is another term. And you can see 5 is a common factor. So we can take it out. So we are going to get 7 times 6, 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 plus 1 from this because we have taken the 5 out. Now that means 5 will do. When you multiply this, you are going to get 1008 plus 1 which gives you 5 into 1009. So 1, 5 is a prime number and 1009 is also a prime number. That means we, are, we have expressed this as a product of primes. That means if any number can be expressed as a product of prime, that means that is a composite number. As for the fundamental theorem of health. Hope this is clear. These problems are from the chapter real numbers of CBSE grade 10. To watch more videos. For CBSE 10th grade, please look for the playlist CBSE 10th Maths. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe the channel.